Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back and today I'm bringing you a different type of content. Today we will be redesigning parts of my island. I'm going to make this into a series because as some of you know, my island is completely flat and bare. I flattened it out so it is a blank canvas so that I can redo it because I wasn't happy with how it was before. Now for the first part of this series, I'm going to be redoing the front entrance to my island. Basically where it connects to the airport, the Dodo Airlines, I'm going to be doing all of that up. Gonna be a lot of time lapses obviously because I will be spending a lot of time doing this and I don't wanna make it boring, I don't wanna drag you guys through the entire process, but I will be narrating over the top of the time lapse, telling you what I was thinking, what I am thinking. Depends when the time of recording is for that part of the video. Uh, if any of you are struggling with ideas maybe, you don't know what you want certain parts of your island to look like, maybe you're also thinking of redoing your island, feel free to steal some of these ideas. Uh, I've been inspired by creations on Reddit, Instagram, all that sort of thing. Not all of this is completely original. Obviously, I am. I have a brief idea of what I want, and I am going to take some ideas that I found on other islands with like uh, flower color combinations and that sort of thing. And um, I'm gonna put it together and make something I like. And 100% this is all subject to change in the future. I'm probably going to end up redoing this part of my island again and again and again um, when I change my mind or later on I might not like it. Uh, that's all expected. And I'm fine with that. This game's easy to change things like that and I enjoy it. It gives me something to do. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. I'm really looking forward to making all these changes and all these designs and putting all my resources to good use. And yes, as I said, it's going to be a part of a series. If you enjoy it, look out for the next episodes to come. Uh, if you want to see me do this sort of stuff live, follow me on twitch.tv slash itsidicus. I'm definitely going to be redesigning parts of my island on stream. I'm going to be giving away a heap of the stuff you see in this video as well. Lots of exclusive like uh, lamps, decorations, uh, all that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm going to get straight into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'm definitely new on YouTube, as you can tell, and I'm about to hit 1,000 subs and I'm very, very excited. You can also join the Discord down below there. We communicate about selling certain things, collaborating, that sort of thing. We've hit over 100 members on the Discord and we're having a great time there. And I really appreciate all the support from you guys. It means a lot and I'm having an amazing time doing all this. Uh, you, you guys have made it super, super enjoyable and I appreciate it a lot. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so first things first is I need to lay out where I want my parts. So obviously island designer and now I'm tossing up between either the brick like the uh, the sandstone looking brick the lighter orange colored one or like regular stone the gray regular stone and I know I, it might be subject to change in the future and I'm okay with that it doesn't take too long but I think I'm going to start off with the clay sandstone type color and I'm going to be laying it out I think in a circle type manner, because I want something in the middle, probably going to end up being a fountain, but it could be like a bonfire or a Christmas tree or something of the sort. Although I think a fountain does look best. So yeah, I'm gonna start laying it out. I want it to come out like a straight line and then go into the sort of attraction. Now I don't want too many areas on my island to be sort of like a, just something for your eyes, doesn't really serve a purpose. That, that didn't really come out right. I mean like, obviously a lot of my island would just be things to look at, but I don't want it to be wasted. Like I don't just want an open area with flowers and chairs because it, it, it feels pointless. I want it to be something. And I want this to be like the first thing that you see when you come to my island. So I want it to sort of be attractive. I want it to be a place where my villagers can go, maybe to read books, to look at the flowers, water flowers, that sort of thing. I want it to be pretty. And uh, I want it to be the, the thing that really captivates what my uh, island stands for. Sort of like the aesthetic that I'm going for in my island. Now obviously if my aesthetic changes in the future, this part of my island might change. But for now, I sort of have an idea of what I want it to look like. So I'm going to lay this out, sort of going to be in like a cross with a circle going around it. So obviously in the middle of the cross, there will be, or the X plus addition symbol, there will be the feature so probably a fountain at this point might change it. I think a bonfire is a little bit too natural. So if I was using dirt paths and lots more grass, I could go for a bonfire sort of campfire uh, aesthetic. And I think I will do that in the future. But for now, I'm going to try figure out what I want this to look like. And I'm going to speed it up here and I will get back to you guys when I've decided.
All right, now I finished the base pathing and I'm pretty happy with that for now. I have room around the center with grass where I can place down some shrubs and some flowers. And then I have some room on the outside where I can build my fences and then put in maybe some trees and some more flowers and a little bit of decoration. Now, luckily I have Leaf on my island right now. So I'm gonna go talk to him, buy some shrubs, see what flowers he's got. I've got some hedges and some iron fences on me. They're my two fences of choice at the moment. Again, might change, but at the moment, I think they're the two that I want. So I'm going to quickly go talk to Leaf and I'm going to place these down and I'll be back in a bit. Now this is the last of the hedges and the iron fences that I've placed for the time being and I really like how it's looking. I like the uh, nature combined with the sort of uh, industrial type fencing I guess. It looks more like a park you know like a center. So next thing I'm going to plan out where I want my shrubs, uh, maybe a couple trees and uh, what light source I want to put in the middle. And yeah so I'm gonna speed it up and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've definitely settled on these lanterns, the tall lanterns. I really like the way they look, but what I've got going on now is way too much. They're sort of cluttering the entire area, so I think I'm going to reduce it to one in every quarter, and I'll see what that looks like and whether I should change it or not. All right, and here we are. So I've let everything grow. It's been a couple days. As you can see, the trees are in the back. We've got a butterfly here flying around my new bushes. Now, I think I'm going for the black and the white flower aesthetic at the moment. And then I want a little splash of color. As you can see with the bushes, I think I'm going to go for a pink or purple. So I'll leave that to some of the decorations and these bushes while the flowers I think will predominantly be black and white and I really like that. So I'm going to try and breed these a little because I don't have that many flowers and Leaf is not selling them. But yeah, we'll see what happens and I'll be back in a sec. Now I've decided to complement this black and white that I'm going for. I am changing the type of tiling that I'm going to use, the type of paths, and I still love this brick type thing, but I'm not a fan of the color. I think it conflicts with the green, black, and white too much. So I found this custom brick texture. I didn't make this, but I found this. I will put the code up on the screen right now if I can, so any of you guys can use it if you want. And if you overlay this over the top of another path, obviously you can see it has that like grass trimming on the edge. So it looks completely natural, like a normal path in the game. And obviously you can put it over corners as well. And I think that looks fantastic. And I hope this will be way better than the uh, terracotta sandstone looking path was going to be. And yeah, I'm going to lay this out and I'll fast forward and skip to the next part and I'll see you then. All right, there we go. I think that looks fantastic. And I think the next thing to do is to customize some of this furniture I've got around and make it white to match the tiles. So that's definitely what I'm gonna be doing next and I'll catch you in a sec. All right. 
right, and that's done. Time to head to Nookazon to grab some brand new items for my garden. Now I decided to add a voiceover while I play some gameplay of me traveling to different people's islands and having some people over at my island where we exchanged bells and Nookmar tickets for some of the items I was looking for, such as park benches, uh, some DIYs for a couple things I want to craft. You will all see it in the final result, but I think it was all worth it. Probably spent an hour trading with some different people online. And yeah, I'm very thankful that these guys had what I needed, and the uh, result I think is amazing, and I'm very thankful. So yeah, I've just come up with the awesome idea to put up some simple panels at the entrance to my island on the left and the right, and I can put a custom design that sort of points people in the right direction. I think it looks a lot better than those wooden direction signs you can get. And the only issue with this is I don't actually know what anything on my island is going to be yet, so I'm not quite sure where the houses will be, where my house will be, where the shop and all that. So I'm just going to put this here as sort of a reference. I'm just going to do like, a, I'll draw a house and a a campsite or whatever just to give you guys an example of what I mean and what it will look like in the future I definitely think I'll come back to it later and make the design look a lot better I'll just show you guys what I mean and I'll put it in my island at the entrance just to show you so I'll do one and then on the right I think I might use a custom design I have or something I just I just sort of want to give you guys a grasp of what I'm trying to achieve so I'm going to speed the rest of this design up and yeah And that was it. After a couple in-game days, my trees had grown, my shrubs had grown, my flowers had reproduced, and after I had put together the last few decorations, my entrance was finally complete. I hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome to Jutopia. This is my entrance complete. As you can see, I have finished with all the flowers, the Renova lights, hyacinth lamps, there's a wheelbarrow over here, I've got some mushroom lamps, there are some floor lights on the ground, some reindeer. As you can see, I filled up just about every spot, tried to make it look natural, tried to make it look clean. Here you can see the full extent of all the lights, the pink and the purple predominantly. The only thing I think I would mainly change at this stage is the pink floor lamps look very, very red, which wasn't my intention. So I think I'm going to have to try and find the purple ones that I can substitute that with. But besides that, I'm pretty happy with the end result. Obviously this isn't something too outrageous or crazy, it is just a little fountain area, it's just the first thing that I was going to build, so there wasn't too much I could do, I didn't want to go too over the top, I just wanted it to be a little simple pretty area where people can sit down, people are introduced to my island, and overall I'm pretty happy with how it ended up. 
And that's the end of it. I hope you really enjoyed this new type of content. If you did, please let me know down in the comments and feel free to like and subscribe. I appreciate all of it. If you didn't like it or you think I could do this better, please let me know because I want to make more videos like this, but I want to know what the best way to edit them and to post them is. Maybe you guys don't like the time lapses. Maybe it's too long. Tell me if you got bored. Tell me all the issues so I know what to fix in my next video. And until then, I'll catch you in another one. Take care and peace.